in this short video we will look at this idea of parity plots this is a way of visualizing how well our model fits the data okay. so for instance we have this what we have been doing so far we have this serial number we had some original data we have all this being the truth this is the original data and we use the original data to solve for some parameters and we use this parameter back in order to make a model prediction for example the linear model that we have been seeing so far okay in this case um typically we have this x uh, at the first data point y at the first data point so if it is a simple linear model okay now in this case we have of course as we saw in great detail in the last couple of videos something on this side now typically you would plot the usual what i'll call the physical plot which we'll also see in some detail in the next video is you plot the original data okay. the original data could be something of this sort so these points are the experimental points and then you draw the fit okay the fit here is some line of uh, some best fit line typically let's take a best fit line so so this is the model and this is the original data experiment okay so visually the only way for us to see uh, how well something does is to compare you know how close this model line looks to the experimental data now we also had a numerical measure um, which is our goodness of fit for this but if we start here notice what is there on the x and y axis so on the x axis is what i will call the feature in this case just x okay, a single variable and on the y axis is whatever we are plotting against so for example in this case in case of thermocouples this could be the temperature so but uh, the problem that occurs is what happens when we have more features what do i mean by more features for example you could have x location and y location so we will call it x1 which is x location x2 of the first thermocouple point so we are now thermocouples on a plate as i said in the last video and you have all these let's say in this case i have drawn five thermocouples so this could be the first point and all we are trying to find out are what are the x location and the y location of this point so those two go as input now how would we plot in such a case this becomes a little bit messy your output is still one it is still temperature but your inputs are two now imagine when you have three at least in this case you could draw an x y and a z axis and then maybe draw a surface plot okay so in this case you will have x1 and x2 and this would be temperature and then you would have to draw a surface plot and that already becomes a little bit hard to visualize okay so hard to visualize the fit now worst case scenario as we will see of course in engineering problems it's not not, not just two but you could have three now in 3d means you have to now visualize a four dimensional plot which you can't do at all so if you are doing something like uh, like i said a microchip temperature or something of that sort and you are in a 3d body with thermocouples kept everywhere you have x1 x2 x3 now how do we plot we really can't plot the fit and we can't visualize it so the solution to that is the parity plot now the thing to notice is what's there on the x axis and the y axis of the parity plot 
it's not the location or the feature versus the output temperature it is something else so let me show you that okay so now on the left here is the physical plot i am going to call it the physical plot or the plot of the basic uh, experimental setup the next one is the parity plot so these two look different as you can see Again, the physical plot is very simple. On the x-axis, you have the x location. And on the y-axis, you have the temperature. Um, you, of course, have the model. And this is the experiment. Okay. So by looking at how similar or how different uh, these two are, you can notice whether the fit is good or whether it is bad. Okay. Now let's come here. I have something else plotted here. Okay. Now what you have here is observed temperature versus predicted temperature. Another way of saying it in our language is observed temperature is just y and predicted temperature is y hat. Okay. So if I have a data set like this here, the physical plot is between the first two variables. It's between these two is the physical plot. Whereas between these two is the parity plot. What is the advantage? In case you have just one single predicted variable, for example, if you have just uh, one temperature which is predicted, then you just need one plot and it will always be a two-dimensional plot. A parity plot is always a 2D plot. Because regardless of how many dimensions your uh, box has, whether it is 2D or whether it is 3D, whatever case you have, okay, even if you have 2D, the temperature itself is just one single value. So instead of plotting the x, y locations of this versus the temperature, what you plot is what was the actual temperature versus what was the predicted temperature. Actual temperature versus predicted temperature. That is all the parity plot does. So here, the blue stars, if they are visible, are this. For example, at this point, the actual temperature was 11 point, let us say 5, whereas the predicted temperature was something around 11. Okay, So you can see that there is a difference and that difference is shown through this line in the middle, which is the ideal model. An ideal model, regardless of whether it is linear, non-linear, whatever it is, the ideal model will always be a straight line because the ideal model says that y hat will always predict exactly whatever is y. Okay, So that's what a parity plot does. This is the ideal model. Of course, this remains the same regardless of what our model is. Whereas this star is the actual model. So the distance between the ideal model and the actual model tells us how well we are predicting. Now, not only that, we can also find out outliers. Okay. So let me go over this. So the purpose of... Um, the parity plot is to visualize goodness of fit. We, of course, have a single number talking about goodness of fit, but this one visualizes in a very, very clear way. This is especially useful for high dimensional fits or wherever you have multiple features. Now, the other thing is this is also useful for, as it will turn out, we will show you neural networks. Any model, it doesn't have to be a linear model. Whereas the goodness of fit, that number itself depends strongly on it being a linear model, um, which I'll discuss later within the course. But this is good for any model whatsoever. Why? Because always this is 2D. Now you might ask, suppose I don't have just one predicted variable or, or one measure variable. Suppose I have two. Or suppose I have three, I am making a model for the three different variables or two different variables like uh, temperatures and heat flux. Then if you have multiple variables, you make multiple parity plots, but that's not difficult compared to saying I'm making a multidimensional plot. You will always have only a few 
uh, predicted variables. Okay, so you will have two, three for usually for engineering applications, we typically don't have more than three predicted variables. Worst case scenario four, so you look at four different plots, but each one of them will simple be simple 2D plot. So it's always easy for you to see how well each variable has been predicted. This point here, as I have mentioned, this point about outliers at the bottom, this point here sort of looks like an outlier. An outlier is a point which is very, very, very far away from the ideal model. Okay, so outlier is far from ideal model. In some cases, this might be because we are making uh, poor predictions or it might be because of poor observations. In, in case it is due to poor observation, you examine that sensor and you find out that it's faulty, you can throw away this data. So this kind of thing is actually possible when, when you have a, a parity plot. So a parity plot is a extremely useful thing to see this difference between the y uh, equal to y hat line, basically the ideal model line, and it is a, a useful toolkit to have uh, within your tool bag. So what we will do in the next video is to actually see how to generate uh, parity plots as well as all the other uh, normal equation solutions that uh, we did in the previous videos. Thank you.